AG's lucky D. Yeah, always good watching them play. Guy's always been strong. For a while, he was actually not really confident in his Dao Sum, so he decided to try to explore different people while he was practicing in weeklies over a game on the ground. He said, you know what, this is not working out. I need to go back to the character that I'm known for. So I'm really glad to see that he's sticking to his roots. Okay. Oh, man. So for those wondering who Samurai Kelly is going to have to face in a loser's bracket, he's fighting Knuckle Dude. Oh, jeez. Yep, that's brutal. That's so brutal. That's, oh, my yeah, God. <laughs> I am. AG's Lucky D versus Insane. Do, 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 do. Let's go. Lucky D. Versus Insane. Insane opting to start off with Ro Roland, so mm -hmm. yep, I don't think it. this is a very good matchup for Blanca. Yeah, yeah, that's. I. It wouldn't have been wise. Blanca's got way more mobility, a lot more tricks and stuff. Of course, Lucky's very proficient, and he's got pretty strong matchup knowledge, so we're going to see how this plays out. Got away from the corner with the teleport. Punish opportunity missed there. So I finally know the frames on that move, and the regular version apparently is minus seven. Okay. Yeah. Isn't it throwable as or well? Or minus eight, my bad. Huh? It's throwable too, isn't it? Oh, you can throw it when he comes yeah, towards yeah. you? That doesn't surprise me because you can stick out like a low medium or something and yeah. catch him if you predict it coming. Yeah. So it doesn't surprise me that you can grab it. I've never seen that used though, but that's I've, pretty sick I've, actually. Yeah. I did it once, but it was by accident. I was like, I don't really think it's throwable. So coach has got to just relax just a little bit. Because right now, he's just trying to use a rolling attack to find a way yeah. to get an ultra. That's not going to work. Oh, man. Not a full punch. Yeah. That's okay. Huh. Yeah. Lucky says no. Let's see if the coach can find his way in this time. They're going. They're going to slide the back. Like, is that Soul Caliber? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, it is. That's on Twitch.tv. Says be protecting. It's, the, it's their top eight right now as well, I believe. Great use of towards oh, okay. MK. That is an overhead. And actually, he's starting to catch Lucky D out there. He yep. has the health advantage. Oh, that was a great up play. Nice. Using the invincibility on the EX wall dive. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay, good. That was good. Very nice. That was very, very nice. Yeah, so the cool part about Rolento's jump fierce is that you can use it early in your jump ins to make it, you know, really hard to anti and also really confusing. Gotcha. Kind of similar to Dudley's jump roundhouse, you can do it at the top of your jump bar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Still get a combo even if it hits at the top of the jump arc. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it looks pretty effective. Uh -huh. okay. Coach has got everything from this toolbox and stuff in full force right now. Just trying to find a way to get in. Ooh, it's over. Nope. Yep. He was ready for that. I don't know why Insane felt the need to commit to that. Ah, he was ah, doing nah. okay until then. Yeah, he definitely like blew that. Yep, it's going nice. for overhead again. And a good slide to escape yeah. the situation. Lucky he's hyped. He's feeling himself. He takes the first game. Yeah, Coach was definitely in control to start of the round three and stuff, man. That lead just solidly got chipped away from him. Ah, so he's actually gonna mix it up. I don't know if that's gonna be a wise pick for him or stuff, but I guess he feels. I mean, this is his best character, true. right? So yep. sometimes you just have to pick your character. That's very true. Uh, to the guy saying if you can ultra two regular block throw, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you can uh, ultra two the EX version though without some hmm. on block. Interesting. 
Destination confirmed. Okay. All Lucky right, so. D player one, insane player two. Comes the run back. Okay. Arturo says you cannot ultra two even on the ES one. All right. All right. I'm blocked anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Darn it, he confused me. I should have <laughs> just not said anything, but I, I was right originally. Not the regular one, but yet. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys, for the confusion. Shout out to the delay on Twitch chat. A blessing and a curse. Nice grab. Much different pacing now compared to uh, the last match of Orlando. Yeah, he tried to get him with a cross up Blanca ball there. Yep. The thing is, Dalsum's hitbox is not very thick when he's standing, so it's really tricky to hit those mix ups just right. Versus on a bigger character like Abel or Hugo, that mix up yeah, is actually pretty work. easy to hit consistently. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Coach is trying to surgically work his way in here. Great anti oh, yes. Right back at you. At the ready. Oh. oh. Nice. He tried it oh, again. Oh, he was trying to mix him up. Yep. Yep. He is on charge. Uh, I don't think he wanted that. He might have wanted a rainbow. Ball. Yeah, that's what that's what I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's going to teleport and mix him up. Oh my wow. god, that is so much life. Yes. He was waiting to see if he was going to eat, and then he was he was going to teleport behind him. That was going to be option B. I feel like that was around that insane could have won. Yeah. Oh, no, totally. He was definitely doing very well. And like you were saying before, he probably was going for the rainbow ball. Play has shown a tremendous amount of respect. Yep. And it's not that insane. He's not trying to tempt him with the frame traps. Right. Great OS. Ooh, good. Plus frames on the electricity. Wow. Nice. Okay, got him back in the corner. Dan's got good one more card. Let's see yep. if it's going to work out. Okay, good. That was definitely worth it. That was good. All right, entering into uh, round three. Back strong. Still, that was a favorable trade for Insane. Yeah. But Insane's sitting on a full stock and stuff, so that's going to oh. actually help him to capitalize on some situations. Nice slide again. He's going to go for the OS. Munch. Here it comes. Overhead. Oh, got the combo. Got that hurts. That hurts. He tried to go overhead him again. Yep. Lucky he poked out Rainbow Ball. Mm, that's, see, that's what he wanted before. Coach is definitely in control. All right. It's tied up now. 1 1 is the score. And all of a sudden, things got pretty intense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, he, he gave Lion a heart a look that says, like, I don't understand how my Blanco went just now. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this working? Like, what? <laughs> Why does Jimmy win? Oh, man. <laughs> That's what's funny when you actually get in a match like you were saying earlier. Sometimes you just like, yo, I should have stuck with my main. Yeah, you just stuff, pick you your know? character. It's like, play your heart. It's the bad matchup, yep. but you know, seven three means that the other character does still win three times out of out of ten. Right. right. Styles make fights too. All right, so it's like we got a problem here. Button check. Something happened. Uh, they don't like the. Uh, they don't like that stage. Yeah, the, the drive-through stage. I'll tell okay. you why. I don't think that stage lags anymore. Okay. But it did lag way back in Vanilla days. So I think okay. people still kind of have that in their mind. That stage is laggy. I don't want to play there. So people just kind of skip. Isn't it. the lava stage kind of laggy too? Or they just. Uh, I don't know right. if it's actually laggy. I think the main people reason that people don't like it is because it's so red it's in the red. background. Yeah, it makes certain things hard to see. And also, if you're like colorblind to red, which you know Good can point. happen, you just can't see anything on that stage. It's just a giant gray blur or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, that was a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> After you get hit in the face with it, yeah. right? Oh, okay. That thing was hitting missiles right there. <laughs> Game number three, Lucky D versus Insane. Like, I know I know these type of matches are usually boring for people, but I actually like seeing the slow and methodical, you know, matches. To really see 
who can read who and stuff, who can have the mix-ups, you know. It's, yeah. Yeah. Street Fighter that's ended in two hits is not really that fun. Yeah. I feel like nobody got to play really when that happened. True. Like, I do like my share of rush now, obviously, but it's always nice to see the slow and calculated matches. Alright, what's gonna go on here? Oh, nice up no, That's good. Ooh. See, that's what he wanted to do in that other game. Yep. Oh, what he's like, get out my air. <laughs> Give me a break, man. <laughs> this is my stage. Oh, oh really? that was a okay. nice cross setup. He's gonna go for the cross, cross up block. Oh, really? Oh, okay. this is gonna chip out unless he can escape. Nice wow. escape. Wow, really? Lucky D. <laughs> <laughs> How is he still around right now? <laughs> He's gonna slide. He wants to slide. Jimmy wants to slide. I wonder if Lucky D. Yo! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the scoops. He like go have some fruit. Wow! Amazing. Nice, yeah. sweet. We got a match. Insane's chasing down Lucky P to the corner. Yeah, this, this is gonna be an interesting potential match point match. That was good. Oh, he's staying on him. He's staying on him. This is bad. Lucky P's gotta get away. He's gonna go for the OS now. Munchie. Next hit might be stunned. Good I sent, break. I sent piano. Piano. Oh, got him. Yo, we got shenanigans. Oh my god. Lucky P's Lucky gotta use his pokes like, to get away from these top setups. Yeah, he has to get out that corner. Nice focus. Really? Good. Ultra time? No. Oh, no! Oh, coach! Yo, we got, got a match! Him, got, him, got him, Yo, Coach Steve. Early trade. Yeah. Oh. And you can see Lucky D trying to, uh, excuse me, uh, Insane trying to encourage those trades because yeah. even though it's annoying to get pushed back, the trades are always favorable for Blanca. Yep. And he's usually have a reversal at the ready and stuff. He's like, okay, I got hit by that. I got something else ready for you. Nah. Go back to the uh, he tried to go back. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, that that kind of worked out his favor. But He's still alive. Big, yeah, big risk. Yo, no! why? Oh, here, why? Oh my god. Oh my god. That punish was the shit. Not like this, Lucky. Yo. Oh, he flinched. He flinched. He flinched. He so takes it. Yeah, good stuff to him, man. That last round was crazy. Yeah, he. He was counting on him to actually be right in the position. That's the only reason why he let that super That's why rip. that happened, yep. Yeah. Oh, man. Tough one there. Yeah. All right, guys. So before we continue with the next match, I want to give love to some of our sponsors. First of all, big, big shout-outs to 8Arc. 8Arc.com. Make sure to check them out. You can get $10 off of everything in their store right now on orders of 50 or more using the code SUMMERJAM8. You can also get 15 bucks off using the code SJ2014. And these guys have tons of great sticks, parts, accessories, and all the things you need to restock up. So if you need some new equipment, please hit up 8ARC right now. And show them some love, of course, for being a part of Summer Jam. Yes. Also want to give some love to Right AV. Anyway, Right AV, please check out their site. These guys are great for home renovation, especially cabling, wiring, things like that. They've got this stuff on lock. RightAV.com. They do have the coupon code Summer Jam right now for 10% off. And they have their very cool product, which is the Custom Wall Plate Builder. And uh, on these wall plates for your home, you can put pretty much anything you would need. HDMI, component, S-Video, Ethernet, you know, anything your heart desires, you can hook up within your home. So make sure to check it out. That's from Right AV. Yeah, especially if you have, like...